Since the beginning, materials researchers have faced three great challenges. Make it lighter, make it stronger, make it less expensive. To speed their search, many investigators are turning to physical simulation as an essential tool in the quest for better materials. Physical simulation is the exact replication on a laboratory scale of large-scale processes that normally occur in production. Occupying a place squarely between computer modeling and real-world applications, physical simulation offers empirical data not available through computer modeling at a fraction of the cost of experimenting on a production scale. It can be as simple as simulating rapid heating or as complicated as replicating a seven-stand rolling mill. Many companies, universities, and research institutes have already embraced physical simulation as a cost-effective means of optimizing materials and processes. These organizations are enjoying rapid advances in their materials research programs. Through physical simulation, they can characterize new materials, test new processes for manufacturing, and simulate the conditions of new applications. Physical simulation cuts the cost shortens the time, and opens the door to new innovations and advances in materials science. The spiral of technology turns, and the researcher is challenged again to make it lighter, stronger, and less expensive. For more than five decades, Dynamic Systems has pioneered physical simulation in materials research, starting first with systems to simulate welding. Glebal systems have evolved from early pneumatic open-loop control systems to closed-loop servo-hydraulic mechanical systems combined with a high-speed direct-resistance heating system. Now Glebal systems, available in a range of capabilities to meet different needs, are widely regarded as the world's most sophisticated dynamic thermal mechanical material simulation systems. Capable of heating specimens at rates exceeding 10,000 degrees centigrade per second and working with stroke rates exceeding 2,000 millimeters per second with forces up to 40 tons, all under precise computer control, Glebo systems set the standard for physical simulation. The Glebel is the only system that maintains isothermal planes, uniform temperature cross-sections, even while heating or cooling rapidly. This means consistent results, regardless of specimen size. And for added flexibility, many Glebal systems offer roll-on, roll-off mobile conversion units that easily add application-specific capabilities. Mobile conversion units include the Hydra Wedge 2, the ultimate tool for optimizing hot rolling and forging processes. The Hot Torsion Mobile Conversion Unit adds world-class hot torsion testing with quenching, compression, and tensile capabilities. The Max Strain 2 system is a unique research tool capable of multi-axial compression with precise temperature control for making ultra-fine grain and nanomaterials. The High Temperature Testing Mobile Conversion Unit is used for applications that require temperatures greater than 1800 degrees centigrade for extended periods of time. Glebal systems are controlled by QuickSim 2 software, a user-friendly interface enabling Glebal operators to easily program and control simulations. Data acquisition capabilities provide rapid and easy capture and analysis of test data. Glebal systems have been used for research published in thousands of technical articles and is invaluable for scores of applications, including continuous casting, hot rolling, strip annealing, powder metallurgy, sintering, extrusion, forging, semi-solid processing, weld HAZ, upset butt welding, friction stir welding, hot ductility, thermal mechanical fatigue, diffusion, and hot cracking just to name a few. Here are just a few examples of how Glebal systems can be put to work on real-world applications. In welding, Glebal systems are recognized worldwide for heat-affected zone simulation. Welding thermal cycles can be reproduced precisely to generate exact microstructures for analysis. Heat-affected zones can be created in tensile bars and Sharpie bars, allowing subsequent testing of the weld properties. 
The glebal can also be used to study friction stir welding, joining of dissimilar materials, upset welding, spot welding, and joining of composites. In hot tensile testing, glebal systems provide unequaled speed and performance. The high heating and cooling rates allow completion of more tests per hour than conventional materials testing machines. Jaw sets and grips are available to reproduce uniform temperatures, both axially and radially, with greater speed and accuracy than available in furnace-equipped testing machines. Melting and continuous casting simulations involved actual melting and solidification of materials under precise control. This experiment shows a typical melting and controlled cool solidification. The visible light has been filtered for viewing clarity. During solidification, tension or compression forces can be applied to the material to study shell strength, hot tearing problems, internal micro cracking, and other problems associated with melting and solidification processes. There are a variety of fixtures available to allow single or multi-directional stresses to be applied to the material, as well as controlled cooling for dendrite growth parallel or perpendicular to the applied stress. Glebo systems provide unique capabilities in hot deformation simulation. The high-speed thermal and mechanical systems allow the simulation of multi-stand rolling mills, pipe mills, and multiple hit forging applications. The rapid changes in temperature between deformations as well as high strain rates can be reproduced. Either plain strain or flow stress geometries can be used. For the ultimate in multi-hot deformation applications, a Glebal equipped with a patented HydroWedge 2 mobile conversion unit has two servo hydraulic systems, both under independent yet synchronized control. One servo system controls the strain rate, the other controls the amount of strain. This methodology overcomes the inherent problems of acceleration and deceleration which occur in conventional high-speed servo hydraulic systems. During this multi-stand simulation, notice that both anvils move, each at the program time. The left and right anvils move to position the specimen before the first hit. The left anvil hydraulic system compresses the specimen, finishing against a mechanical stop to achieve the programmed stroke rate. Since this yoke stops the left anvil instantly, there is virtually no deceleration curve at the end of the compression and no other travel, permitting high strain rates. The right anvil hydraulics reposition the specimen so that the amount of compression during the next hit provides the correct strain. The entire process takes place under computer control with closed loop feedback control of all variables. The process can be interrupted and the specimen quenched at any point, including between hits of a multi-stand simulation to examine the microstructure of a specimen. Optical dilatometer and extensometer systems are available for dynamic deformation CCT studies. Glebo systems can also be used on aluminum, titanium, composites, and other advanced materials. Every Glebo combines thermal, mechanical, and computer systems to provide unsurpassed capabilities for physical simulation to produce new materials, optimize processes, improve quality, and preserve capital investments. Each and every Glebal system is backed by Dynamic Systems, a company with more than 50 years' experience in pioneering physical simulation systems that have now become world standards. A company dedicated to helping you make materials lighter, stronger, and less expensive.